you can't do that because you're a woman. Yes, I can. I'm going to do it now just because you said that. In 1920, women were finally given the right to vote. Ruth Beach, Florence McLennan, and Dolores Penn remembered that monumental time. And since then, they've never missed an opportunity to vote. I think everybody has the ability to make a decision. And everybody has a right to do this, and so do you. And like I say, if you don't, then you have no reason to complain because you didn't help matters any at all by be, being quiet. Ruth Beach remembers her mother working at the voting polls. She tells me that her mom made about $5 working all day and couldn't imagine living in her mother's era, a time when women didn't have a voice. Well, it's a good thing I didn't live back then because I have a big mouth. <laughs> Ruth's mother isn't the only woman who worked during election season. She soon followed her mother's footsteps and did the same, as well as Florence McLennan, who still volunteers to this day. We're so fortunate to live in a country like this where everybody has that opportunity because not everybody has that. Although these women were too young to be the first women to vote, their grandmothers and even mothers are the origin of women voters. My grandmother had been doing it for so long, I thought that that's what you're supposed to do. And we sat at our table and they told you, you don't ever let anybody tell you what you can't do unless it's something that should not be done. But to vote, that's a privilege and you don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do that. Voting back then was different. They explained that voting now is a lot more convenient. And the curtain closed around you and then you, you moved little levers underneath who you wanted to vote for. And so we've actually come a long ways. I've been working the polls for 20 years. And so I've seen actually a lot of changes since I started working. Some even remember the biggest election year of their lifetime. Kennedy was running. He wasn't president then, but he was running to be president. And uh, it was a very busy day because we had all, everybody came out. At that, that time, it was quite a, quite a big election that time. John F. Kennedy. I loved them because they were always seemed like they were concerned about people. With election day a few weeks away, these women are encouraging everyone to go out and vote, no matter what religion, race, or gender. By all means, either by absentee ballot or early voting or in person, whatever way you can do it. Everybody should exercise their right to do that. You pull down and you go and you, you get home and go, I voted, I voted. In Toledo, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.